This is a picture of how things played out in Burlington, Vermont in 2009 during the election for mayor. It's bound to come up when people are having wonky conversations about ranked choice voting. It's gotten a lot of attention and a lot's been written about it. One of the big reasons is because of this. It's an outlier. It's, it's pretty well known and it's easy to spot. Of all those different ranked choice elections held during that time period, it's the only one that wasn't a Condorcet winner. So what's that? It's very political and there is a lot of math. To make sense of this, let's go back to the beginning. And it's a good question to ask. What happened in Perlington? What's the big deal? Why did this modern Vermont city decide to reverse itself and move away from instant runoff voting and rank choice ballots? From here, you can see the system worked the way it was supposed to. Nobody got 50% on the first round. The lowest performing candidates were eliminated round by round, but those voters who had a next preference in the ranking still have a say. The same thing would have happened if there'd been a special runoff election for just the top two candidates on a separate day. The candidate with the bigger original base lost out to the candidate that was able to get broader support through the runoff. The data I used to build this visualization are off a few votes, but it's good enough to make my point, which is this. If you want to use ranked choice ballots to find a consensus, then use a tabulation system that's oriented toward showing the consensus. Condorcet tallies results as a series of matchups or duels, like a uh, round robin on steroids. This is the first draft of a data visualization I did using a tool called D3 to show how the matchups play out. The centrist candidate prevailed in more matches over the base candidates than the base candidates did over the centrist. This is the raw vote and ranks for the top candidates. Remember, there's a slight error here, but not enough to make a difference. When you take these raw votes and assign values to them by rank, first choice would get six points, second choice would get five points, and so on. You see how things play out according to the Borda tally method. There's nothing mysterious about what happened. The IRV result depended upon which of the base candidates was most palatable or least unpalatable to the centrist voters. But the Condorcet result depended on the base voters deciding that the centrist candidate was less unpalatable than the other base. You're going to have more confidence in the result when all the systems line up. And in this case, either ranked choice tabulation system is an improvement over first past the post because clearly the plurality winner was least representative of the community among the top three. But that turned out to be the group that was most adamant about moving away from ranked choice voting. But they didn't realize that if they'd taken the position, let's go all the way with Condorcet, they would have been able to get results closer to their own interest.